cut rates today by about a quarter point. Move would be the first rate cut in more than four years. Joining us now is Thomas Hayes, chairman and managing member of Great Hill Capital. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Do you agree with the expectations that Fed Chair Jerome Powell will announce that quarter point rate cut? I mean, what are you anticipating? I do anticipate the 25 basis points. It's interesting, the Fed Funds Futures is actually pricing in a 63% chance of a 50 basis points cut, uh, which has kind of surprised the markets in the last week. But I still think they're going to go 25 basis points. And I think that's, number one, they don't want to admit that they're slightly behind the curve and playing catch up. I think is number one reason they're going 25. And number two, uh, coming into the election, I think they don't want to be too aggressive and have any appearance of political interference. So I think they'll start at 25 and probably pick up in November and December. Uh, are you saying to yourself, well, it's about time? Because it kind of, as you alluded to, it's a little bit late. I think a lot of people are wondering, okay, when is this move going to be made? Yeah, I, I, I definitely think they're a little bit behind the curve. They should have gone last month. But they didn't, and they'll catch up. And they were late on inflation, but they did catch up with inflation and have brought it down to about 2.5%. So uh, not ideal, but they'll get it done. All right. How does it affect everyday folks? Like, for example, homeowners and home buyers. What will be the difference here? Well, I think that if you're looking to sell your house, you want to get out ahead of the crowd. You know, mortgage rates have come down a bit to the low sixes in some areas. Once we see that five handle, you know, five, nine, five, eight, I think there's going to be a rush because those people who have 3% mortgages on their houses, maybe they didn't want to sell out and replace at a 7% mortgage, but at a 5% mortgage, if they've doubled the value in their house, they're going to hit the window. And I think you're going to see a tremendous amount of value uh, of supply on the market. So it's going to be better for buyers and for sellers. I would try to get a little ahead of the crowd. And Thomas, how quickly will you see that reflection, though, in the rates, whether it's credit card rates or mortgage rates? Well, you've seen some already because the 10-year yield has gone down to 3.6, so mortgage rates have come down. Uh, we're probably going to get at least 75 to 100 basis points of cuts before the end of the year. Works a little bit on a lagged effect, but we're going to see it sooner than people expect, and I think it's going to bring a lot of relief for the consumer. And you have these retail sales improving from July to August, indicating that more Americans are shopping and spending more. This will affect credit card rates, won't it? Yes. So credit card rates will start to come down a little bit. They've been sticky, and they'll tend to be sticky even after the first cuts, but they will come down. I think it will boost consumer confidence, which, believe it or not, despite the retail sales, consumer confidence has been pretty low. So these are the conditions that are very promising moving forward with the Fed cuts. If that consumer confidence starts to come back, it could be very good for the overall economy looking six, nine, 12 months out. So what sectors are you going to be watching that investors should know about as we head into the fall here? Well, historically, if you look back to uh, all the way back to World War II, Chris and Mary, what you find is that small cap stocks, smaller capitalization stocks, outperform the large cap giants by 11% in the first 12 months following the first Fed cut. So that's a positive area. And that's because smaller businesses need the lower rates to refinance their debt and expand their businesses. Uh, the second area that has been hit is a lot of the consumer discretionary stocks because consumer confidence has been a little bit low. You've seen companies like Nike have been hit pretty hard. Lululemon have been hit pretty hard. I think we're going to start to see a slight recovery. As people know, relief is on the way. Rates are coming down and the economy could reaccelerate, helping those groups that have been left behind. So all in all, it should be a pretty good day. <laughs> all in all, it should be a good day. Don't don't worry about short term volatility. Sometimes after that first cut, you get a little volatility in the market. Sometimes before the election, the next few weeks, you get a little volatility. But I think once the election clears, you're going to get a year end rally. These cuts are going to start to kick in. And as we look towards November, December and the first part of next year, things should be very promising. All right, Thomas Hayes, chairman and managing member at Great Hill Capital. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Good to see you. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Chris. All right. We'll continue to follow the Federal Reserve's decision here on.